Today's morning devotional. Doubting nothing. Faith in my life. O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? Matthew chapter 14 verse 31. Life is not all made up of pleasant pastures and cooling streams. Trial and disappointment overtake us, privation comes, we are brought into trying places. Conscience stricken, we reason that we must have walked far away from God, that if we had walked with Him, we should not have suffered so. Doubt and despondency crowd into our hearts, and we say, the Lord has failed us, and we are ill-used. Why does He permit us to suffer thus? He cannot love us, if He did He would remove the difficulties from our path. He does not always bring us to pleasant places. If he did, in our self-sufficiency we should forget that he is our helper. He longs to manifest himself to us, and to reveal the abundant supplies at our disposal, and he permits trial and disappointment to come to us that we may realize our helplessness, and learn to call upon him for aid. He can cause cooling streams to flow from the flinty rock. We shall never know until we are face to face with God, when we shall see as we are seen and know as we are known, how many burdens he has borne for us, and how many burdens he would have been glad to bear, if with childlike faith we had brought them to him. God's love is revealed in all his dealings with his people, and with clear, unclouded eyes, in adversity, in sickness, in disappointment, and in trial we are to behold the light of his glory in the face of Christ and trust to his guiding hand. But too often we grieve his heart by our unbelief. God loves his children, and he longs to see them overcoming the discouragement with which Satan would overpower them. Do not give way to unbelief. Do not magnify your difficulties. Remember the love and power that God has shown in times past.